Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just on a country estate in Norfolk and it's just starting to rain. The place I've come to today, I'm going to pan around and show you, is Houghton Hall. It's a beautiful stately home in North Norfolk. Now what we're going to do today is rather than show you so much of the house and its older history, I'm going to show you some of the modern history. There's some really quite impressive bits of modern artwork in the gardens. So I ha I've been in the house, so what I'm going to do is I'll post some pictures from inside the house and I'll give you a bit more of the history in the pictures and a bit about who lived there, etc. But I'm just going to show you some of the grounds that we can see here. So if we're looking back that way, that building over there is the stable block. Oh, and this thing that keeps flapping in the camera. This is Damien Hurst. He's got his exhibition here. One of his famous paintings is these um, coloured circles. So in the house, they've got lots of paintings with coloured circles, which go quite nicely with the historic interior. So, as I said about the pictures, if you look at the pictures, you will be able to see those. So I'm going to take you through now to the back of the house and we're going to go and have a look at the gardens so we're just going to go through here if you look that way you can see one of the avenues which people in the house would have seen when they were staying in there now how do I get through um, I was going to go through there but there's a chain so I'm going to squeeze through here this wasn't part of the plan um, I just about got through there, that wasn't planned, I didn't realise there was a chain there. So we're now kind of going through, this is one of the corridors of the house, I'm taking you out to the other side. Now as I was saying about Damien Hurst, he made many sculptures of modern art. Now there's one here, let's just have a look, I'm just having a look on my map to see which one this is. This one is called St Bartholomew, Exquisite Pain. Now if you look behind me, we have the rather unusual looking statue of a man who's actually taken his skin off it. it reminds me a bit of Robbie Williams rock DJ video so I'm gonna take you now out and we can see the house very impressive now another one of Damien Hurst's pieces of artwork is these two horses here now if you look one one side is white and the other side has the you can see all the muscles as they would have been so let's just i'm just reading to see which ones these are this is the myth and the legend so you can see them and then see how this one all the skin's gone and you can see all the muscles there's quite a lot of sculptures like that that seems to be damien hurst's style one of his styles of art so Looking that way, that looks out across the estate. We're going to go into these woodlands here because there's some really quite unusual pieces of artwork. It's not actually Damien Hurst artwork. I've taken pictures of some of the other bits of artwork by Damien Hurst and I'll post them as pictures. So if you look out for them, you'll be able to see the, the Damien Hurst pictures because it's easier to, for you to see his pictures rather than as me walking around and talking. So leaving the house behind us, we're going to, through these lime trees here we're going to see some bits of modern art which is quite unique to Houghton Hall so there we are leaving the house behind us we're going through here from above this appears like a giant X a bit like well a giant X I suppose um, and that was a flash of lightning then so there might be thunder they also they were doing horse trials here today so there's the thunder earlier on there were horses running around, which was quite interesting. So as we come down this avenue, we it gets quite exciting. There suddenly is a little gap in the hedge. We're going to go down here. So we're going through the woods, and we're going to. The first sculpture is actually really quite unusual because what they've done is well you'll see it's a sculpture in the woods but it is part of the woods so we come out here this is the sculpture you can see hedges of copper beech so they've actually made a sculpture by planting these 
copper beech hedges in a pattern. So from above, I expect it to look quite interesting. So this was created, I'm just reading this because it's quite a lot to remember, um, by Anya Galakio. Apologies if I'm not saying that correctly. And it's called the Sibyl Hedge. So it's a, a hedge. So the hedge is the sculpture. So they've planted it and got the hedge to grow. You come round here and there's like another little area which really is quite interesting and it goes on and on round more corners. I think if we go through the main part of the hedge we should be able to get out again. So it's um yeah I'd, I'd love to see this from above. I'll have to have a look to if there's any pictures of from above. If there is I could perhaps put a link in. Now we've got to find our way out. It's a bit like a maze as well. So right, this, we're going to go down this path now. This isn't the one we came along. And things haven't gone quite to plan because I've ended up where we, where we came in. I've managed to take you back to here. That wasn't the plan, but it doesn't matter. So we're going to go out the way we came in. You haven't missed much. It was another path a bit like this. So we're coming back to one of those avenues now. So we come out here. I'm going to have to get my... Right, yeah, so we shall go along here. There's a couple more um, sculptures to show you. So the next one is actually in the middle. It's by Sir Richard Long. It's called The Wilderness Dreaming, which is these slates laid out in the middle of the in the middle of the apex of all the drive so we were supposed to come out over there but we didn't so we're gonna go down here uh to the um well, interior space is what it said on the sign that's another sculpture i can't get to that one actually today because of the horse trolls so oh uh, um unfortunately we just can't see that one right the one we're going to now is by rachel Witterred and it's called the Halton Hat. No, Halton Hut, sorry. So through this gap in the trees, I really like this one. I think this is a great idea. It makes me want to do it in my own back garden. And go through here. What have we got here? Look at this. First glance, you think, oh it's just a just a shed. But take a closer look. It was a shed, it's been filled with concrete. And they've taken the wood away. So you've got a mould, the inside mould of a concrete shed, complete with a door that you can even see where the bolt would have been. See? So I think that's a really good idea. We're now going to go out a different way. So we came in up that path. We're going to take this path here. And I'm going to run round and show you another one. Um, I think I've got two more I would like to show you. So Apologies for me running a bit, but it is starting to rain. And it sounds like it's going to rain quite heavily. So we're now in another one of these avenues. So back, that's where I wanted to come out from the head sculpture, that gap there. Um, right, so along here, oh, and the rain's perhaps stopping. Sorry, this is a bit of a me running around and showing you um, me running around, but I'm covering quite a bit of ground in this video and the things I want to show you are quite spaced out but I will also post pictures of what I show you in this video and what I don't show you so you will get a chance to have a better look if you look at the pictures that will come afterwards. We're now going to see the Dunstable Reel down here. Down into more woodlands. It's quite exciting here. I enjoy it. I've always enjoyed running around woodlands. Now this one, come around the corner and it strikes you. You think, what on earth is this? Well, this is the Dunstable Reel. It's made of metal. Now, who was it by? I'm just going to quickly refer to the book. The Dunstable Reel was by a man called Philip King. So, as you can see, it's metal. Quite interesting. I like how it, it just sits here in the woods like this. Now, I think these are all great, but 
the one I'm going to take you next, I've left it till last, it's my favourite one, I think is amazing. It's just completely unique. Now, I'm just going to make sure I take you in the right direction. It's known as the Sky Space. So, the idea is some of these, so come back out here. You hear the name, but you're not sure what it's going to be till you get there. So, Sky Space. So we walk there, have a think what that might be. And it kind of is what it says it is. Well, but not quite as you might expect. So here we are, look, it says Sky Space. So we're gonna follow this path. Now you go through and you're walking up a path of box hedges. And then around the corner, sorry, I just frightened a bird and it made me jump is this building. Can you think what on earth is this? Well, this is the sky space. So, wait and see what this is. It's quite funny because when I walked around here earlier, people, it started to rain and people were running for it because they could see there were doors inside and they thought, oh, we'll go in there, get out of the rain. So you walk up here, we're kind of going up, I suppose we're sort of going into the sky, so that makes some relevance to why it's called sky space, but it's still not quite what you're thinking. So as we turn another corner, following these wooden walkways, you think, well, what is it? It's a huge box. As I said, it's called Sky Space, and it's by the artist James Turrell. But what is it? Well, we're about to find out. It's built in 2002 by James Turrell. Admittedly, I did just read that, 2002 there. So just to give you an idea of what we've done, we've come from down there. We've followed that path down there. We've gone all the way around up there. And we're now at the door, so we're gonna go in. There's no one else in here. Well, this is a sky space. You think, well, what is it? It's a room with seats in, but you can look up. And above us is the sky. Reminds me of above us only sky in John Lennon's Imagine. So that's kind of what it is really. It's a room you can sit in, in these, what are fairly comfortable for wooden chairs. You can look up at the sky, you can hear the rain. So earlier on people were coming here because they thought it was a shelter. And you come in and it's open, the rain's coming in. It's not a shelter, it's the sky space. So thank you very much for watching this video from Houghton Hall. I hope you enjoyed it and if you're up in Norfolk, do come and visit it because it's a really unique stately home. Um, but I'm, I'm also going to post some pictures of the other gardens, the other sculptures, and in those pictures there'll be a bit more description on the history of the house. I just thought it'd be a lot to explain all that in this video. So thank you very much for watching from the Sky Space. Goodbye.